Introduction, the phantom felines of Britain. The UK, with its lush landscapes and ancient ruins, holds many secrets. Among them are the stories of big, mysterious cats roaming its countrysides. These tales have captivated the imaginations of locals and visitors alike for decades. They blend the boundaries between myth and reality, creating an irresistible allure. Reports of these elusive predators, often described as panthers or pumas, continue to surface, yet concrete evidence remains elusive. Imagine walking through a misty forest, the silence only broken by the rustling of leaves underfoot. Suddenly, a shadow flits across your path, a creature too large to be a domestic cat with a gait unmistakably predatory. Such encounters fuel the legend of Britain's big cats, making every unexplained noise a potential sign of their presence. The possibility of crossing paths with these spectral felines adds a thrilling undercurrent to rural strolls. Despite numerous sightings and anecdotal evidence, the existence of these big cats in the UK is still hotly debated. Are they escapees from private collections, remnants of circus troops, or simply a case of mistaken identity? This essay explores the history, eyewitness accounts, and cultural impact of these enigmatic creatures. Historical glimpses from myths to sightings. Legends of large predatory cats in Britain date back centuries. Medieval texts and folklore often mention black beasts that roamed the wilds, feared by villagers and travelers. These stories may be the precursors to modern sightings, weaving a tapestry of fear and fascination with the unknown. The consistency of these tales through the ages suggests that the idea of mysterious creatures has deep roots in British culture. In the 18th and 19th centuries, exotic animals were popular among the wealthy as status symbols. It was not uncommon for big cats to be kept in private menageries. Historical records occasionally mentioned escapes, which could have contributed to early sightings and reports. The notion that some of these animals survived and bred is tantalizing and serves as one possible explanation for ongoing reports. The transition from mythic figures to potentially real animals likely occurred as people began to have more genuine encounters with these creatures. As Britain's landscape changed with industrialization and urban expansion, the habitats where these cats could potentially hide also transformed. This historical context provides a backdrop to the sightings, suggesting that these creatures, if real, have adapted alongside human society. Modern encounters first-hand accounts. In recent years, the number of reported sightings has increased. From the shadowy edges of London's parks to the remote highlands of Scotland, people claim to have seen big cats. These accounts often describe similar features, large muscular bodies with long tails and coats that range from jet black to tawny. Some eyewitnesses even report hearing terrifying growls that no domestic animal could produce. One compelling account comes from a hiker in the Lake District who encountered what he described as a panther-like creature. The animal watched him from a distance, its eyes reflecting the faint light of dusk before silently vanishing into the underbrush. Such encounters leave no physical evidence, yet the detailed descriptions add layers of credibility to the possibility of their existence. Police and animal control units occasionally receive photos and videos purporting to show these mystery cats. While many are blurry or inconclusive, they contribute to the growing archive of evidence. These modern tools offer new ways to document and analyze these sightings, potentially bringing us closer to understanding what people are seeing out there in the wild. The Beast of Bodmin Moor, a case study. One of the most infamous of these mysterious cat sightings is the Beast of Bodmin Moor. Located in Cornwall, this area has been the center of numerous reports over the years. The beast is typically described as a large black cat, much like a panther prowling the moorlands. The persistent nature of these sightings has sparked official investigations. In the 1990s, the British government conducted an inquiry to determine the existence of the Beast of Bodmin. The investigation concluded that there was no verifiable evidence of exotic cats living wild in the area. However, the conclusion did little to dampen public interest or speculation. Sightings continued, and some believe the investigation was incomplete or dismissive of eyewitness testimonies. Local farmers have reported lost livestock, often attributed to attacks by the beast. While most evidence is circumstantial, it includes some intriguing finds such as unusually large paw prints and fur samples that defy easy identification. 
These physical clues keep the story of the Beast of Bodmin Moor alive in the public's imagination and fuel ongoing debate about the creature's existence. In this section, we delve into the various theories that attempt to explain the mysterious presence of big cats in the UK. One popular theory posits that these animals are remnants of escaped pets or attractions. During the 1970s, exotic pet ownership in Britain was somewhat common, and the Dangerous Wild Animals Act of 1976 led to many owners releasing their animals into the wild, rather than complying with the new, stringent regulations. Another theory suggests that these sightings are simply cases of mistaken identity. Large domestic cats, dogs, or even wildlife like deer could be misinterpreted as bigger predators, especially under poor visibility conditions. Psychological factors, including the power of suggestion and the human tendency to misinterpret unfamiliar stimuli, also play a significant role. Additionally, there is a hypothesis that these cats could be surviving Ice Age fauna. Proponents of this idea suggest that small populations of indigenous big cats could have escaped extinction and adapted to the changing environment. This theory, though controversial, adds an intriguing prehistoric dimension to the mystery. The credibility of eyewitness accounts is crucial in evaluating the existence of UK's mysterious big cats. Many witnesses are credible individuals, including police officers, experienced hikers and wildlife experts. Their detailed descriptions lend a degree of authenticity to the sightings, making it hard to dismiss them outright. However, skepticism remains a significant barrier. Critics argue that without concrete evidence, such as clear photographs, physical remains or unambiguous tracks, these reports could be exaggerated or misinterpreted. The human mind is adept at filling in gaps in perception, potentially turning a fleeting shadow or rustle in the brush into a big cat sighting. Despite this skepticism, the accumulation of accounts over the years creates a compelling narrative. If nothing else, these stories reflect a fascinating human aspect, the need to believe in and tell stories about the unknown. This cultural phenomenon keeps the mystery alive, encouraging both believers and skeptics to keep searching for the truth. The stories of big cats in the UK resonate deeply with local folklore and the collective psyche. They tap into ancient fears of the wild and unknown, conjuring images of shadowy predators lurking just beyond our perception. This enduring motif appears in British folklore, where mysterious beasts represent the untamed aspects of the landscape. In contemporary culture, these tales have been popularized in media, from documentaries to sensational news articles. They serve as modern urban legends sparking curiosity and fear. For some communities, the mystery of the big cats becomes a part of their identity, a unique feature of local lore that attracts tourists and enthusiasts. Moreover, these stories can influence how people interact with their environment. The idea of potentially coming face to face with a large predator changes the way locals and visitors experience the countryside. It infuses a sense of adventure and caution into outdoor activities, altering perceptions of familiar landscapes. The possibility of big cats in the UK raises important conservation questions. If these animals do exist, they would be an important part of the biodiversity and require protection and management strategies. This scenario poses challenges for conservationists who must balance public safety with the protection of potentially endangered species. Efforts to study and potentially protect these animals are hindered by the lack of concrete evidence. Conservationists are cautious about allocating resources to a phenomenon still considered by many as mythical. However, some argue that the search for these cats could lead to unexpected discoveries about Britain's wildlife and ecosystem health. The debate over these mysterious cats also highlights broader issues in wildlife conservation such as habitat loss and the impact of human activity on native species. Whether or not big cats roam the UK, the discussion underscores the need for sustainable environmental policies and increased public awareness about biodiversity. The mystery of the UK's big cats remains unresolved, weaving a complex tapestry of fear, fascination and scepticism. These stories, whether rooted in reality or folklore, continue to capture the imagination and provoke debate. They challenge our perceptions of the wild and remind us of the mysteries that still exist in our modern world. 
As we ponder the existence of these elusive creatures, we also reflect on the broader implications of their stories. They prompt discussions about wildlife conservation, the accuracy of human perception and the power of folklore. Whether these big cats are real or not, their legend persists, a testament to the enduring human attraction to the mysterious and the unknown. Thus, the tales of the UK's mysterious big cats serve not only as thrilling narratives, but also as a mirror, reflecting our fears, hopes, and the eternal human quest for understanding. As we continue to explore and explain the natural world, the legend of these phantom felines stands as a captivating chapter in the ongoing story of human interaction with nature.